she wanted something she could hold with one hand. So Miss Belinda Lee was initially drawn to the teacup puppies on her Instagram and TikTok feeds with their small and cute appearance. But that changed when a pet shop in Singapore told a 29-year-old she wouldn't be able to walk them the way one typically does with dogs. Instead, due to teacups being bred to be as small as possible and weighing around 2 kilograms or less, they have to be scooped up and carried by their owners while on strolls. Undaunted in her quest to find a tiny, fluffy, white dog, Miss Lee ended up with a 4 kilograms multiple, a mix between a Maltese and Poodle. Crossbred, miniaturized dogs like Multipus, Cavipus, a Cavalier King Charles Spaniel mixed with a Poodle and Pomskis, a Siberian Husky and Pomeranian Cross, have become extremely popular due to a combination of personality and traits. One animal store told CNA. Pomskis are particularly sought after for being low-maintenance and very manageable for first-time owners and those living in apartments, said Omo Omo Pet Shop. Cavapos and Multipos, meanwhile, usually sell out very quickly, in a matter of days, upon advertising, the store added. But these canines, marketed as designer dogs or premium pets, could face health issues down the line. According to authorities and experts, who added that their selective crossbreeding for aesthetic purposes like miniaturization also gives rise to ethical concerns. Pet ownership in Singapore is on an upward trend. Increasing by 3% annually for the past five years and by 30% during the COVID-19 pandemic itself, according to a 2022 report by the U.S. Commerce Department's International Trade Administration. Ms. Arthi Sankar, Executive Director of the Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals SPCA, told CNA the organization has noticed an increase in advertisements by pet shops selling miniature as well as pedigree or purebred dogs. It's also common for prospective adopters to ask our adoption counselors about the availability of small to mid-sized dogs, she said, adding that this may be due to a misperception that these are more suitable for families with young children. Compared to larger breeds Pet shops that CNA spoke to cited rising demand for miniature-sized dogs, including teacups which are often bred from pedigrees, including the Pomeranian. Maltese Poodle and Shih Tzu. In 2022, a Japanese store selling teacup-sized dogs weighing under 1.8 kilograms set up its first overseas branch in Singapore. Another shop, Cotton Pups, said there was a growing trend of sellers pegging puppies as mini or teacup for a quicker sale at a higher price than those of the same breed and color but of standard size. A Pomeranian was listed on the Cotton Pups website for 4,800 Singapore dollars, 3,600 US dollars. CNA understands there are stores in Singapore selling teacup Pomeranians for upwards of 9,000 Singapore dollars. A dog owner who wanted to be identified only as Mrs. Koo said she always wanted a husky until she realized her petite frame would struggle to pick one up in an emergency. Huskies can weigh over 27 kilograms and stand up to 60 centimeters tall. Mix one with a 3 kilograms, 18 centimeters Pomeranian, and the result is a Pomsky, which Mrs. Koo found to be the perfect size and ended up purchasing. Pomskis can be bred to as little as under 7 kilograms and less than 25 centimeters tall. When just over a year old, Mrs. Koo's 11.5 kg Pomsky was diagnosed with mild laxating patella, or a dislocating kneecap which can cause discomfort and lameness in the leg. Mrs. Koo said she was aware of Pomsky's being prone to this condition and that she knew of others suffering, also from young, more severe issues like deformed hips. In fact, the Pomsky's that I know who don't have any hip or joint issues are in the minority, she added. 
Mrs. Ku's three-year-old Pumsky also has weak teeth, according to her vet. Dogs bred to be smaller than normal are at a higher risk of such medical conditions. Authorities and animal doctors told CNA, pointing to a host of other issues, including congenital heart diseases, weaker immune systems and even shorter lifespans. Miniature-sized dogs are genetically not as strong, said Dr. Grace Hang from the Joyous Vet. This is because the breeders tend to choose the small or stunted adults and breed them together to get even smaller offspring. The owner of two toy poodles, weighing 2. 5 kilograms and 1.8 kilograms, said she never intended to get smaller than normal dogs and that they were the only ones available at the local pet shop she went to. Toy poodles typically weigh up to 4. 5 kilograms, the owner, who wanted to be known only as Chloe, described her two dogs as more fragile and vulnerable. She doesn't let them jump off furniture, is strict about their diets and watches closely when they play with young children or bigger dogs. Miss Lee, the multiple owner, said there was a general lack of awareness about the health risks associated with smaller-sized dogs, especially teacup breeds. Besides, she said, if a pet shop owner really wants to sell the dog, there's a high chance they won't tell you the issue you're going to face in the future. Miss Lee also told CNA she had come across TikTok posts by pet shops selling dogs as multiples even though there was no resemblance whatsoever. The pet shop had no idea what kind of breed they were trying to sell. You know something is not right, like where are they getting the dogs from? Although the shop she bought her multiple from assured her that they worked with ethical breeders. Miss Lee said there was no transparency or detail on exactly how responsible the process was. Sadly, a lot of crossbred puppies being sold as designer dogs are results of mass breeding in farms. Said the Cotton Pups Pet Shop, which only sells pedigrees. Definitions vary, but according to the American Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals, criteria for ethical breeding include providing a high quality of care, providing full information and histories of the dogs and ensuring they go to a good home by vetting their potential owners. The process can be time-consuming compared to puppy mills where large quantities are bred and kept in poor conditions and sold quickly. Mrs. Cool, for instance, got her pumpski in two months, in contrast to the process of getting a pedigree from ethical breeders, which she said could take up to a few years. Unethical rearing of crossbred dogs meets a demand for specific sizes and looks. And is a systemic problem, she added. Ms. Senka said that given the welfare and ethical concerns, the SPCA is against the crossbreeding or breeding of miniature dogs. While breeders may maintain spacious and sanitary environments, provide quality diets, and offer healthcare, they inherent risks of health problems developing as these miniature dogs age remain, she added. There is a limit to how responsible a breeder can be in this regard. The SPCA strongly encourages potential pet owners to instead consider adopting one from a shelter. People should consider more than just the physical appearance of the dog, said Miss Senka. Our local breeds are equally loving and deserving of a home.